What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. All right, so um, for those people out there who I, I did make a video on this, and some of you've seen it, but as always, if I come across information that doesn't work or I didn't do it correctly, though that's rare, um, but I'm honest about it, I pull it down. So the video's gone. So most of you guys have probably never seen the video, and that's okay. So um, I want to thank my guy out there, Field. Um, you know you are. Appreciate you. Send me some information. Oh, but I do have to tell you that uh, the information you did send must have gotten zapped in the mail. Um, and so the USB um, died. Didn't work. Doesn't work. Um, so anyway, um, but based off of the information, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk. So anyway, okay, so the original, this, this video is going to be about mailing as a sovereign individual a US national um, a lot of people were like oh it doesn't work and like I said before I tried it in a couple other uh, videos and um, it I, I must not have gotten the format right but somebody else out there who has um, okay so obviously I have some of the information redacted but here you can hear I don't know if I can get closer you can see right there zero paid and you can see that this is United States Postal Priority Mail so this was sent to me free as done as such. So I'm going to go over all this information in, in the format. So in the upper uh, right corner when you're looking at it, okay, this particular person has used their thumbprint in red, okay, on a 45 degree angle. All right, so red thumbprint, bam. It starts off with on his majesty's service, next line, postage, pre dash paid in capital letters then the code UPURL114 uh, parentheses 2.2 .2, parentheses comma 141 parentheses 2.2 .2, parentheses next line USPS MM742 comma 742.1 comma 7 2.2 under that it says I am and then his signature and then it goes uh, stamp slash seal that's where the red thumbprint goes underneath it says foreign office of origin underneath that it says all rights reserved without prejudice period underneath that it says Aboriginal indigenous sovereign American national okay that's the whole seal that goes up into where the stamp is. So basically what you're doing is you're telling them, now mind you, all this information is educational purposes. All right, kitties, kiddos. Um, so don't just go trying stuff because I'm mentioning it. Do your own research. Okay, that being said. Um, and then for that person's address, they have uh, the, the name of the state and then the word state behind it so for me it would be like Wisconsin state and then it goes zip exempt DMM 6021.3E colon 2 colon underneath it in brackets we all know about the brackets it says non dash domestic space without colon uh, u dot s dot colon then bracket okay underneath it says general dash post office now for those people who don't know that this the United States Postal Service is different than the post office the post office is for US nationals and resides within them they kinda got gobbled up but that is still in fact intact but the United States Postal Service is basically like you know owns a daddy the daddy chicken and then the wing inside of there so the post office but it's still there okay so then obviously for my address, um, he copied my information that I had sent to this person and then um, set it in the correct format. So it's my name and then care of, you know, address, city, state, my zip in parentheses or bra brackets, um, the blocked brackets. So meaning that even though it's there, it's only for uh, informational purposes. So officially it's not supposed to be on the form or recognized underneath it, once again, in squared brackets. 
non-domestic without u without us same way as before bracket underneath general post office and obviously you can tell from this this packet and the fact that um you know i showed you before it says zero cost okay so he mailed this correctly um now i don't know if he just dropped it in the mailbox or if he took it up and handed it to them i don't know um, but for those people who have been trying to find out exactly how to do it this is my first official parcel of mail that it has been done successfully and the proof is in the pudding it, it shows everything the exact date time all that stuff where it was and just no cost so um, all I can say is for those people who are so adventurous you are more than welcome to take that information and uh, research it look up the codes make sure that everything is solid um, I'm familiar with that they are the you know these codes are in fact right I know when I did mine I used different ones so maybe they've changed them the information I had might have been outdated when I did this long time ago but uh proof positive it, it does work um, I mean obviously let me think about it I mean the stamp is on here so I mean even if you dropped it in a the mailbox they process it and they slap this on here I don't know if it has to be in the flat rate envelope or what um, but looking here at the top he's got a uh, it's got the certified mail on there so either way like I said um, it, it went through maybe try it both ways I'm not really sure so um, yeah it works that's about it guys um, I told you as I keep coming across this information and thank you for those guys who sent me files out there um, and uh, put me on to some new things uh, like I said this is oh, th this particular thing is not really new but it's something that um, I did have a failed attempt at so keeping it real like a lot of people think like you know I have all this mastered the stuff I know I know quite well other stuff I'm still learning because like I just don't have time to go into a whole bunch of new avenues but when I do and it works I bring it that's what this channel is about so um, like I said I'm not new to this I'm true to this you know I live this way I've lived this way for I don't know even like over like 20 was it 30 not quite 30 I'd say 20 years for sure and definitely got deep into it in the last like 10 um, made my move so if it's for you this is the thing you can it's up to you it's really up to you I, I can't like a lot of people will say oh you you, you can't you know uh, exist in both we've already been existing in both we're just trying to get out so nothing I want to bring up for some people they're like well how were you able to do this and do that remember a lot of the stuff some of the stuff that I've done is because I've I don't have that US side anymore I've renounced it in all my paperwork the paperwork I, I sell to you guys has on there you know my my rebuttal like we're well I'm not quite renouncing I'm just stepping back and I'm putting this into uh, you know pending status or you know whatever mine when I send mine out it, it straight up tells them I'm, I'm done I'm renounced I'm, 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 I'm out of there you know what I mean so that is the difference in why like when you apply for certain things and you might get rejected is because you still have that side you may not be eligible for like an ITIN number you might have to go and get a um, EIN you know or a some people also call them other things you can get like a privacy number or whatever else um, but you have to do the research and see if that's what's best for you. Always try to make sure whatever you get is legit. Uh, don't just, oh, I met a guy on whatever and I bought it. And, you know, and now you're messaging me from prison or something crazy. You know what I mean? So just be careful of what you do. Do your research. Um, and don't be, like, embarrassed. Everybody has gotten scammed or lied to or whatever. That's, that's the great continuum of the circle of life that we live in. Is there's always going to be somebody smarter than you in some area. Nobody gets it all right the first time around nobody okay um so that's about it guys I got some more videos coming up so stay tuned don't forget to check out black side 32 when you get a chance and down below is more information site has even more information has everything basically up there so you can now order you can set up a consultation you can buy all that stuff and then message me and then we we figure out a good time that works typically I don't uh, work Fridays or Saturdays uh, so if you don't hear from me in those days, that's probably why. Um, unless I'm just up and bored, it's hard for me not to work, but I try to spend time with my family and whatever else. Uh, when I'm not 
keeping my face in a book or on a web page and reading and researching and doing all that stuff. So anyway, thank you for your time because you could have went anywhere, but you came here. Oh, and I have to throw this shout out. I don't know if you'll ever see it, but Uncle Raja, I love your channel. You are a very, very funny guy, okay? Maybe I'll make some egg fried rice and let you judge mine, all right? Um, so for those people that know what I'm talking about, there's a guy, his name is uh, Nigel NG. Uh, he does a stand-up, and he also judges and critiques people on mainly their cooking, especially um, stir-fry rice. Efu Young? No, fry rice, fry rice. So, uh, funny guy, makes me laugh. So check him out, support that guy. Um, that's about it. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day.